Hi, it is me, Jared, again. I apologize for confusing for the full review, review of work, but there was a little bit of technical difficulty, so I'm pretty much going to start over from the beginning. In the beginning of, this, in the beginning of my life, there are TV shows like Arthur, Wildcrats, Cyber Chase, and various other PBS programs that you come to know as currently on. Odd Squad. The current show, Let's Go Luna, Pink Alicious, and very others. But my favorite, favorite show of all time is Word Girl. And so, let us, I, let us, me, Jared Paulson, fully review this for you. So, let us review this entire show called Word Girl. This show was aired on PBS Kids after during the events of Mind Miguel. Its prologue series called The Colossal Adventures of Word Girl with this acted as a prologue series of the of the show, and um, what I remember a long time ago is that this show actually aired during my second year of high school, and back then I wasn't very fond of the show, but I got over it and I began to like the show. The show starts with an alien named Word Girl, whose alias named Becky Bosford, who is wrote born in on that flat lexicon and and um. Adopted by the Boxford family in, in the show. But, however, the show actually, however, um, in 2013, somehow the show got a backlash that the show was pretty violent. So they had no choice but to t cut the show out of several states throughout the US. And some new episodes were airing on the PBS Kids Go website. The show held up to eight seasons and had 11 minute segments in the show. The show is actually um, pretty quite different from its TV rating. The other TV sh PBS Kids shows have a TV Y setting. This one had a TV Y7 rating because it's pretty much violent and pretty much, well, pretty much violent actually, but not too violent. It had to tone the violence level down because it has to be kid appropriate. Anyway, so. I really liked the show a lot in the in my life, so I watched the entire series until the end. It had a rerun, a couple rerun, it, re, it had its rerun and it ended. And um, I think the show is fantastic to watch. I can like to watch every day, and I like to continue more about the show later on. So let's move on to the characters of the show and let's begin. So the characters of the show are actually. We're going to talk about the main characters very we're going to talk about the main characters our main superheroes word girl and huggy and um well the characters of the show are actually pretty good throughout the entire time throughout the series i like the main characters word girl and huggy they are the two main protagonists of the show when i think of word girl i think of her as a female superman because the entire show is a parody of superman and i think Captain Hunky Face is somehow similar to family similar to Robin, aka Bob Bosford. But when we get when when we're talking as we're talking about the characters, the character development was actually pretty good throughout the season, even for Word Girl, Huggy, and the rest of the cast. There are some actually some backstories that that were told throughout the episodes. That were explained how they became it and how how they really became the word girl characters. And I really thought it was pretty cool that all the characters of Word Girl are actually pretty cool. So as the series progressed on, more new characters were, came onto the show. New villains. Well, actually, I actually want to talk about the first five villains. The first five villains of the show were actually the beginning of the series. Like they had Dr. Two Brains, Toby, Granny May. The Butcher and Chuck. The first five villains throughout the series. And there was also many other more new villains that were, were more new villains that were progressed throughout the series. From season one we had Birthday Girl, we had Mr. Big, we had the Mass Breed Rider, and more. In the second season of Word Girl, we had more new villains, such as No Kind of Contrarian, Victor um many more new characters of the series as well. Like I said, mentioned before, the show held up to eight seasons and it ended with a two-part episode called Rhyme and Reason. And I th that somehow cleared up the entire series. 
there was no more new no new episodes after the series ended like no ninth or tenth season and it was pretty much a shame but it was a great series I was a huge fan of that series I was very proud of it and I was very confident with the series anyway more I like about the show is that at the end of each episode they have a segment called may I have a word we had three contestants Phil Tommy and Emily with their host Bo Handsome and their prize giver away Captain Hunky Face did I mention Captain Hunky Face is actually in these segments as well as well as the end of each episode with the um, what feelings that the narrator announces to him that's pretty nice part of the series that they had that also what I also like about the show is that the animation the animation of the show is actually made by Suto Nuts I like that animation a lot because it has a very similar animation to um the Spongebob Squarepants and other cartoons that were on. It was also produced by Scholastic Entertainment and made for PBS at the time. More new Also, I want to talk about more of the seasons and more new characters of the show. More new characters of the show we had were... Um, Ken Athos debuted on a season, season 7, which I told myself I wish they had a Kid Math TV series, like a spin-off. Or perhaps a... Um, a Kid Math television series that is similar to Oswald and Cyber Chase. Now, comment below if that's good for my, for my opinion. Anyway, um, there's more I'd like to talk about the show. And there's the music and the sound. The sound effects in the music are pretty good in the series. Is that the sound effects of the show um, are actually pretty quite good. Every time the Word Girl episode starts up or the show starts up, you hear a Word Girl sound. Music clip from the beginning, and we every time that show ends, we hear that too. The music on the show is actually pretty quite good as well, and it has a good theme song. It had pretty good production music, and it had lots of very good vocalists of this series, like the good voice cast of the show. We have Donna Furman, voice of the main, main protagonist, um, James Andemian. Please comment below if I said that I said right, and many other voice of the rest of the cast did the roles. Anyway, that's all my review I can talk about Word Girl. Overall, the show is fantastic to watch. We have now currently have Let's Go Luna that's premiered on yesterday. And I want to do my thoughts on this sh on Let's Go Luna. This show is, is fantastic. I really like this show. And it is a very good show to watch, I know less. And I know some people had very hard angry rants about the show that's not very good but screw those guys I really like this show a lot so anyway for Word Girl I give it a 9.2 out of 10 well let's I want to continue on from here as the series has progressed progressed on some of the new episodes were not very that very good anyway that's all I can say about Word Go. Like I said, I give the show a 9.2 out of 10. Now, I'm going to do a separate video to talk about The Rise of His Power, one hour, this one hour movie. One hour Word Go special I'm going to talk about for the next review. So, this is Jared Paulson saying signing off, and see you next time.